Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to Thinking Tuesday. You know that if it's Tuesday and it's noon, then it's Thinking Tuesday. So welcome to Thinking Tuesday. It's great to be here with you again today. Um, we know that many of us will be celebrating Thanksgiving Day this week in about two days, although every day should be seen and experienced as a Thanksgiving Day in the same way that we set aside a few moments every Tuesday to check in with our thinking and see how it's serving us we do set aside one day when we want to really express gratitude and we want to give thanks for all that we've been given. So it's not that after uh, today, we no longer, after Thursday, we no longer have Thanksgiving, but we just want to set aside a specific day to really look at our, um, our gifts are, are what we should be grateful for because we do have a lot to be grateful for, don't you think? I'm sure you agree with me. So I want to remind you of our motto, which most of you know already if you've been watching Thinking Tuesday. But just for those who might be watching for the first time, our motto on Thinking Tuesday is your mind is a garden, your thoughts are the seeds you can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. And what does that mean? Why do I repeat that each week? Because I really believe in it. It's simply to set the stage and to remind you that you and you alone are in complete control of what you think and how you think. That is so important. That is so important because that determines who we are and who we behave and what type of life we live. You have the choice to think positively or negatively. You alone have the choice to think abundantly or in scarcity. You alone have the choice to think expansively or limitingly. So that is completely under your control. Others might try to control your thinking, but they can't control what you don't give up. So if you don't give up that control, it is yours. And even if you've given up that control at some point, it's always yours to take back. It is yours uniquely and forever yours. So as we approach Thanksgiving Day and we focus on what we're thankful for and what we're grateful for, this is the one thing that we should never forget to be thankful for. We should be thankful that we are created with limitless potential and the potential begins with how we think. That is seminal to anything that we do. We are created, we are equipped with everything, everything we need to be successful, depending on what success means for you, because we all have individual ideas of what, or meanings of what success is for us. So whatever that means for you, but it all begins with how we think. That's the baseline. So I am grateful and I'll share what I'm grateful for. There are many, many things I know I'm not gonna get through all of them. And even if I were to continue daily, I still will not be able to say all of them, but I am grateful and thankful for many, many things. But I am really thankful for having this opportunity every Tuesday and on other days when you don't see me, when I'm working with my clients, I am really thankful for the having the opportunity to grow and to help others to grow. I can't think of anything else that makes me so happy to grow myself and to help others to grow. 
Because just as I mentioned always at the end of my Thinking Tuesday messages, that when you find something valuable, you don't want to keep it for yourself. You want to share it. And that's how I feel about what I do as a coach and as a psychotherapist. Thinking Tuesday is one of the ways that I express my gratitude by sharing, by sharing my knowledge, sharing my time, sharing my over 40 years of experience in helping others develop. I think about the meaning of and the wisdom of an old Vietnamese uh, quote, which I find myself thinking about very often. And it says, when eating fruit, remember the one who planted the tree. That has to do with gratitude. And that's what we think about. That's what Thanksgiving is about. And like I said, every day should be Thanksgiving, but we set aside this one day. I thank my ancestors for their grit and their determination, despite the odds of everything that as a people we've gone through. Slavery, discrimination, the attempts to keep and put us in a box of limitation. And, and that's been done in so many different ways. But I thank my ancestors for their grit and their determination because they knew that there was something better. They knew that they had more to give. And that's why they fought. I, thought, I, I thank my, my parents, my grandparents. I thank my parents for their vision for a better life for their six children and the sacrifices that they made despite their limited material means. But my parents had a way of thinking that everything, anything was possible. And that has nothing to do with your material uh, means. It has to do with your thinking. Uh, their spirit of gratitude and always thinking about what was possible contributed to how I see myself and how I have chosen to live my life because I saw that modeled in them. And I still see that modeled in my mom who is now 100 years old and she is the most positive thinker that I know. Well, my father was also, but he's no longer here, but I still carry a lot of what he he, he uh, modeled for me. I'm also grateful to my family, my friends, my colleagues, to all my teachers and my mentors who have supported me through the years and who continue to support me. I'm also grateful and thankful for all of you, all of you, all of those who have trusted me enough to help you to overcome obstacles in your life journey. Many may not be listening to this, but I am so thankful for having had that experience and for still having that experience to form a relationship with those who seek my assistance as we confront issues that seem insurmountable, but also find that there are solutions for them. Those who have entrusted me with their lives and with their lives' issues have been courageous enough to follow and allow yourself to be in uncomfortable situations, trusting that this is the way to personal growth and to live more authentically. Running from problems don't make them go away. They just get embedded further, but they show up in so many different ways. So thank you for allowing me to help you become aware of those issues that have been uh, keeping you stuck, that have not allowed you to get some of those uh, dreams, to attain some of those dreams that you, you've been trying to attain and to see you attain those dreams. Thank you for allowing me to help you with that work. As you grow, I have also grown because this is a partnership 
Coaching and psychotherapy is not a journey of one, but a journey of two or more, if I'm seeing you as a family or as a group. But it's a journey of at least one or two, not, not one, never one. It is a partnership, and I'm grateful and thankful every day that I get to engage with others in a very, very meaningful way very productive and life-altering way. That means so much to me. But unfortunately, time does not allow for me to share all the ways in which I'm grateful and to name all to those who, to those who I'm grateful. So that is just a really tip, very, 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 very tip of the iceberg. But today, as we approach Thanksgiving Day and beyond, I would encourage you to think about that Vietnamese quote, when eating fruit, remember the one who planted the tree. So what fruit have you been eating today? What fruit have you been eating daily or over the years? And are you remembering who planted that tree? You are the beneficiary of those fruit that you've been eating. Are you remembering who planted the tree from which you're eating? Who has poured into your life? Who has uplifted you when you were about to give up? Who has shown you patience when you were not even patient with yourself or others? Who has believed in you when you didn't believe in yourself? Who has caused you to see opportunities where you only saw obstacles? Those are great fruit. Are you remembering who planted the tree from which you're eating? Whichever tree, whichever fruit you are eating from or have eaten from, show gratitude to those persons, family members, friends, teachers, colleagues, whomever who planted the tree. You can also help that tree to continue to grow by sharing your fruit with others because that's the way that the fruit, the tree continues to grow and to give. When you get, you give. There's blessings, there are blessings in giving. So I leave you with those thoughts as you gather with your loved ones, or even if you don't gather with loved ones on this Thanksgiving day, just to consider who and what can you be grateful to or for? Who can you be grateful to and what can you be grateful for? That should be a daily thought because as I said always, as I say always, your thinking is going to drive how you feel and how you feel is going to drive how you behave. So if you think gratitude, it makes you feel good. And when you feel good, you do well. You behave in certain ways that bring happiness and joy to yourself and to others. So continue to eat good fruit by thinking positively, because this is what this is all about, right? Thinking positively, letting go of those self-limiting thinking and remembering that you are fully resourced, you're fully equipped to live the life you desire and to be who you aspire to be. That is all in your control. And that's something to be grateful for. Just try it. Tap into your thinking, think positively, get rid of those weeds that have been strangling those positive thoughts that are trying to emerge. And remember, you can always reach out to me. First of all, share this with someone who you feel could benefit from it. Because like I said before, when you find something of value, you want to share it with others. And we feel good when we're able to share. We all have something to share, no matter how small it is. 
and someone out there can always benefit from what you have to share. But if you're struggling with any of those issues, if you are feeling stuck, if you want to find out what your next steps are, to move yourself in the direction that you want to go, to actualize those dreams that you have, that you've put on the shelf, that you've deferred for whatever reason, remember that you can always reach out to me through my website, drcherylburton.com, so that I can assist you in being a thinking partner. I can offer you a 30-minute a complimentary consultation to help you think through, to help you get back to that place where you once were and where you aspired to be or beyond. You can also go back and listen to any of my uh, Thinking Tuesday uh, messages if you visit my YouTube channel, Thinking Tuesday, Cheryl Burton. They're all there for your uh, enjoyment and to share with others. You can also book me to speak through my website. And I look forward to seeing you again, to hearing from you, to speaking with you individually, or certainly back here next Tuesday. At what time? At noon for Thinking Tuesday. Remember, your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are the seeds. And you, yes, you can grow flowers or you can grow weeds, but we know that's not what you want to do. And I encourage you to grow flowers, those positive thoughts that move you forward rather than keeping you stuck or pulling you backwards. So my wish for you is that you have a wonderful Thanksgiving day, but remember every day is Thanksgiving day. So take care. Enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, enjoy your day, and I'll see you back here next Tuesday at noon for another message on Thinking Tuesday. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.